What is up, Drama Alert Nation? It's your boy Dexter O'Hanning, and he's here to teach you something about everything else. <laughs> Welcome, everyone, back to next day. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> uh, it took me long enough to come back. I know, I know, I know, I know. See, but that's not what we're talking about today. Today, we're talking about relationships. They're always fun. But sometimes they don't end so well. Let's talk about my second relationship. Back when I was in middle school, around the eighth grade, uh, I went to this party. <clears throat> that was kind of lame. But my uh, cousin was there. And he walks up to the front, smokes some ganja. <sighs> Just kidding, it was, it was cigarettes. And he smokes these cigarettes. And this guy, this random dude, walks up to him. He's like, hey, why are we gonna party down this way? And um, it's for my niece, if you, can, if you wanna stop by. And he's like, for sure. So he come, my cousin comes back to us, lets us know. And we're like, we're gonna crash this party because the one we're at is kind of lame. So we go over there, we walk over, and it's just like a cool party with like people that are like uh, a little bit taller than me. They're a little bit older after I find out that later. But um, so it was back when like shuffling was a thing. You remember that? Um, and it was pretty cool, like a lot of fun. I mean, I attempted to shuffle. Of course, it was terrible. Um, <laughs> but I had a lot of fun. And that night, we, the, well, after we had stopped dancing, uh, they put out a fire pit, or a little, one of those things that you buy at like Walmart or whatever. And they put it right there, and we all sat around it. And, uh, my Kurt, we're gonna call her, call her Maria. And Maria sat next to me, and <laughs> I was like, oh, I was already like, a girl sat next to me, what? And we're pretty close proximity because um, eventually she holds my hand, and you understand, <laughs> you don't understand. At this point in my, in my life, the only contact that I would get from another woman would be, hey, are you finished with your classwork? Because <laughs> I need someone to copy it off of. I, I look over after she holds my hand, and then I kiss her. It was, it was pretty cool. Pretty cool. And then a lot more kissing, but I mean, that's not interesting at all. So, we tell each other our information, and then the next day, we start talking on like Facebook. This is like back, what am I talking about? It's probably not when like Facebook was like barely popping. It's probably when I got to it, you know? It started popping. We start talking for a little, for a little bit, find out where she lives, um, and, uh, she finds out where I live, and we talk, and eventually we come up with a plan, because her mom did not know that me and her were dating, and I guess she didn't want to tell her mom, maybe because she was too young to date or something, I don't know. Anyway, uh, so we ended up using my sister um, as her best friend and then we would see each other like that so she would be like oh I'm gonna go to my friend my friend's going to get me I would hide in the car and her mom would uh, watch her leave and when she we would leave we'd stop like around the corner I get out of the trunk <laughs> and I would uh, be right there and I, I'd hold her hand as we went back to my place and we'd like watch scary videos or play video games. Uh, she was really into the shuffling scene. 
really into it, and I wasn't. And I, but I, I don't know if it's me, but I, I felt like that's like a good contrast. Cause I mean, I wasn't against it. I'm not, I'm not against like dancing or anything like that. Um, I just, I don't know, it just wasn't me. You know, at the time I was just playing video games and then um, I'd dance with her if she wanted me. To, and that's a lie. I didn't dance. Not at the time. I asked me to dance now. I'll look like a fucking dumbass. But I, hey, I'm enjoying myself. Um. So, we end up um, seeing each other left and right uh, more constantly, and then she, uh, we decided to take it a step further. So, one day, uh, we were going to go to my aunt, or my dad's aunt's house, which I, I guess is still my aunt in some way or something. Um... So we ended up going, but we actually picked up my girlfriend before then. Um, so we took her over there, and like, I don't know, I don't know what it was for. I think it was like for a woman's birthday. And we were just like watching like soccer or something. We sat down, and she sat to the right of me, and uh, we were, I was sitting, right next to her and then she was like and she puts like her legs on top of me and my little preteen body could not handle that let me tell you and let me tell you let me tell you <laughs> let me tell you and uh I, I was like oh i gotta go to the bathroom and so i go to the bathroom and i'm just like oh what the fuck you know like beating it up like shut the stop it stop it <laughs> but i'm really understanding what the fuck is going on um but then, uh, after a little while, we, we go to, like, their second... These people, they had a big house. Like, I, I don't know. I've never been to a bigger house. Yeah, that's right. I've never been to a bigger house. Like, they had a, another uh, living room. So we went over there to the second living room. And um, we were there. We were just talking. But then she lays down again. And she does the same thing. And then... Um, her like she like did this like arm thing and her her belly was showing just like that like it was just like whoop and I was like oh 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 and I I poked her <laughs> and she was like ah and like it, it was pretty funny uh we were gonna do well, well let's just call it call it eating pizza and then that led to somewhere but it didn't go anywhere because um we were like oh we're fucking meet up over here um in the car at this time like we were just like fucking mission impossible you know to eat pizza i ended up going to the car because we came up with the plan to eat pizza at the car um but I, I'm like standing over there for five minutes. I'm just like, where is she? And then like I go back, I, I go back to the house and where she was because it, it was immediately when you open the door, and <laughs> they were all talking to her. So she got stopped by everyone to not let that happen. So they're all talking to her, and we're just like, oh well, fuck it, whatever. And uh, fast forward to when we finally get home, uh, she's gonna spend the night. And we are thinking about eating pizza. And she's like, yeah, yeah, I'm down. Like, she wanted to. And then I wanted to. I think she was talking to my mom outside. And then, because she, we didn't know how to eat pizza, you know? Being that, like, it was, like, five in my family, and then plus her. So it was like, how are we going to fit that? Like, who goes where? Where do we do that? Um, but we just decided, or <laughs> more like, I was like, oh, we can do this, we can eat pizza in my sister's room. Don't eat pizza in your sister's room. Unless you really have to. <laughs> which is the, <laughs> which is what happened in that case. Uh, I figured that out, I went to go tell her. But she was talking to my mom. And I was like, hey, we're gonna go watch a movie. You said you wanted to watch a movie. And... The movie's ready. We can go watch it. She's like, "Well, I'm talking to your mom right now." I was like, "Nah, don't worry. 
I grab her hand, and she starts coming, and um, she stops to talk to my mom. See, but I was holding her from like where her bracelet was. This was like my heart breaking into so many pieces because I ripped her bracelet, and her bracelet meant so much to her because her grandma, who I think had passed away, gave her the bracelet. And this one I, I got from my dad, you know? So I, I, I hold this one in very high regard, so I'm just imagining me losing this, it ruined me. So I'm just coming to this realization as we speak, this is really sad. So I, ri I rip it, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, and she's like, no, babe. And I'm like, oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to eat pizza today. Uh, but um, we we talked about it, and I helped her find, like, ten pieces of it. Because they were, like, beads. Um, and then we, we went to my sister's room. We watched a little bit of the movie. And then she held my arm. I looked to her and I said, she, I said, I'm sorry, and then she kissed me, and then we ate pizza. What was the downfall? Get to the damn point! The problem that happens. At the height of all this cool stuff happening, your boy Dex was a fucking idiot. The most amazing girlfriend. She was really cool, funny, really pretty. She danced, which is like really cool. I mean, now <laughs> I have to find someone who would dance with me to anything. But <clears throat> anyway, now we come to the downfall, and she was really cool, uh, but I was fucking idiot. I'm not gonna lie, I was an idiot. It was my fault. I mean, I was at that age. You know, what do you expect? I was a fucking dummy. Um, and I don't know what I was trying to prove to myself. But uh, I had stopped talking to her on purpose. But like not in like oh fucking. It was more of like a like an experiment. I think that's how I put it. To see I think what I wanted was like how much she loves me, which was a really fucking dumb thing to do in the first place, you know, with your partner, you should, you know, there, there shouldn't be any of that. So I stopped talking to her, and I didn't talk to her for three weeks, and eventually the text came that everyone dreads, hey, we need to talk, and I wasn't surprised, because I knew it would come, because I wasn't talking to her at all. And it's so dumb. It was. It's such a dumb thing that I did. It's one of one of my biggest uh, regrets because she was really cool. But man, that sucks. We ended up breaking up that day, and uh, it wasn't the end of it because we ended up seeing each other again because we went to a party not too after, not too long after that. After we broke up, and we invited her, and um, that was the last day that I actually saw her, because it turns out that she snuck out. We thought that she, her mom let her, but she had snuck out to come with us, and um, we ended up going to this party, and at this party, I'm bartending. <laughs> I'm being at like my age, uh, I was bartending, and... Uh, she comes up to me and she's like, hey, let's dance. And at the time, I didn't want to dance. Not at all. And um, we're not dating at all. So I shouldn't have gotten jealous like the way I did that night. Um, so she comes back again. And uh, she's like, come on, come on. This is like my favorite song. And I'm like, oh, no, I, I have to bartend. I'm sorry. Um, but... Uh, she ends up dancing, and I see that there's these other guys with her, and it starts to bug me. I'm just like, mm, I don't know if I should be here watching this. I don't know. Uh, I start, I'm like, I'm gonna go. 
to the front. I need some space. I don't think it can watch this any longer because she's still dancing with these people. Um, the song plays as I'm walking away from the situation, and I'm walking to the front of the, uh, the like the street because the, the the party was like in the backyard. Uh, and she stops me and she's like, "Hey, do you want to dance?" I swear, I'm. I'm a cool dude. <laughs> I swear. But at the time, I was like, you're, you're already dancing with guys. Why do you need to dance with me? And I was being a salty fuck. Really salty. Um, and she's like, really? And I'm like, and I'm like, I just start walking away. And she's like, well, okay. She like storms off into the crowd, with people dancing. And... Uh, I walk to the front, and uh, I'm, I'm standing there, and I'm like, man, I, don't, I didn't like that she was dancing with another person, but it was my fault, so, ugh, memories. <laughs> um, so I go to the porch, uh, that's right there in the front, I sit down on their couch that they had there, and uh, let me tell you guys. It was really heartwarming to see her run to the to, through the driveway to the street to see where I had gone because she still cared about me and it was really nice to see that um, so she runs to the front and she's like where is he where is he but she's not saying where but she, you could tell that she was looking for me because she starts to walk back and she sees me and she's like hey what are you doing and she like comes up and she walks over to me and she sits next to me and we just start talking and man she was the one that got away guys she was the one that got away because that night we kissed again and I kept asking her are we gonna get back together and she didn't answer me at all she avoided the question and then we took her home the same night taking her home I remember she was afraid because my mom got the phone call from her mom and so we had to go get give her back and she was like really afraid and I'm sure I would be too because I mean kind of just ran off without anyone knowing and so she goes, and the mom gets mad at us because she thinks that we knew that we were sneaking her off. But uh, what, bet, or what Maria was telling us uh, was that she had permission to go with us, which wasn't the case. Um, anyway, so we're taking her back, and I'm sitting there, and I look over at her. She's like biting her nails because she's afraid. And she has her hand on like the middle of the, you know that like the three seats. She had her hand in the middle, and, and then I put my hand on hers. She like looks over to me, and then my heart broke that, at that moment because she looked at me. She pulled her hand away and like she curled up next to the door, and man, that broke me. I was like, fuck, I fucked this up. Fuck. I can't. I couldn't help her when she needed me. But I mean, you know, that, that was my first love. She was my world for an extended amount of time. And sadly, we're not together anymore. But that's part of life, you know. You gotta just find that right person. Someone that you click with. You're happy with. Thanks for watching, guys. Today's been uh, my second relationship. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay awesome.